Carol, to make up for the cruelty of making you answer that question first, uh, we'll transition now. I want to talk a little bit about the Speed City Sisters in Crime. Uh, and then we'll talk about the brand new anthology, Murder 2020, available now. Esteemed audience, you could be uh, clicking on the link in the show notes. You could be searching uh, Google right now to get your copy ordered from a nice local independent store. Get it uh, headed your way. Uh, but Cheryl, since you, I think you said you were president at one point of the of the Sisters mm -hmm. in Crime. Um, right. Please tell us uh, more about the Sisters in Crime and specifically the Indiana chapter of the Speed City Sisters in Crime. Okay, yeah, well, I wanted to make it clear. I was president of the chapter, not the entire uh, or a national organization, even though right, right now a member of our chapter is president of the national organization, Lori Rader Day. So that's kind of cool. At least I think she's still president. Anyhow, um, yeah, so I can't remember the year, but Sarah Paretsky, who is a famous Chicago mystery writer, founded. Sisters in Crime, and I believe there are 32 chapters, most of which are in the United States. There's a few Canadian chapters, I believe. I am unsure if there are any on other sides of the Pacific or Atlantic. If not, there's only one or two. So it's pretty much a North American organization right now, but its purpose is to promote um, female mystery writers um, who write mysteries or in the crime genres. So, um, all right. So, but, but anybody who falls, you know, who um, upholds that mission is welcome to be a member. And we have several Mister Sisters, including Tony Perona, and we have we have actually a very healthy proportion of Mister Sisters in our chapter. I think we have one of the highest proportions in the country, but I'm not entirely sure about that. So um, we're all about mystery and crime writing. Um, we participate in um, events with our chapter and to some extent beyond our chapter. Um, and we have had speakers here who have been, um, when I say here, in the Indianapolis area that have been sponsored by the national organization. We have applied for their speakers program and national has paid their travel expenses for, for them to come here and educate us more about the craft of writing. So, um, and they also have a couple events, which I'll mention because some of your listeners might be um, interested in participating. There's a We Love Libraries program and a We Love Bookstores program, which is for independent bookstores. And by looking at the national website, um, Libraries or bookstores, whichever is appropriate, can follow a set of a few simple rules and be in a monthly, I believe it is, lottery, and they can win a cash prize that will help them either buy books for their library or promote books in their stores. So it's it's a really nice program, and it's a way to say thank you to libraries and bookstores who help get our books into the hands of readers. And so for esteemed audience members who are very excited and want to want to contribute, where would they go to learn more and, and, and contribute? Um, you can look at the national website, sistersincrime.org, and all the chapters are listed there. And um, then by contacting that chapter, most of the chapters have website. And I believe there's contact information for each chapter on the national site. That would be a way to find out, you know, where they are meeting, how often they are meeting, and give them a way to kind of get their, you know, get the knowledge they would need to attend a meeting if possible. There's also a chapter called the Guppies, which is totally online. And um, aside from myself, which I think we can all agree was the finest uh, hour of the Speed uh, City Sisters in Crime. That what a wonderful presentation, <laughs> uh, having me come and speak. But aside from myself, what types of speakers uh, could folks looking to get uh, signed up and and participate? What what types of speakers could they look forward to hearing? Uh, we have um, a wide variety. We've had people who um, have been kind of in the investigative role and talk about solving crimes. We've had a profile. Um, as a speaker recently. And then we also have speakers who talk about the craft of writing. And some of these speakers are mystery writers, some are not, but they all have something to say to us. And then we've had people who have talked about marketing, 
such as yourself. So um, it really runs the gamut, but all, all the speakers are announced on our website, which is speedcitysync.org. And so everyone um, is welcome to look and see who's coming up in the coming month. Right now, um, being on Zoom, so it would be good to reach out to um, someone on our website so uh, a Zoom invitation could be obtained if people are interested in attending the programs. Hopefully we will be back in a more, you know, in one place speaker and audience, but that might be a while yet. We're, we're looking to um, do Zoom meetings for at least um, June and July, and our July meeting is going to feature um, the uh, writer Dan Wakefield. Um, Janice Thornton, one of our members, lined up um, Dan to speak to our group. He's comfortable doing it in Zoom. We've been debating about maybe doing it in an outdoor setting, but it just might be a little difficult and unpredictable to do that. And we're kind of playing it month by month. Um, so if anybody <laughs> actually reach out to me if you're interested in joining the Zoom meetings, I've been setting them up. And folks could reach out to you just by going direct to the website, or what's the best way for them to do that? Well, you can email me, janetw5112 at gmail.com. And you can go to our website, too. There'll, there'll be a link to connectivity there as well. But anybody who wants to attend our meetings, our meetings and the speaker part are welcome. That is a bold move, giving out your email on the podcast. You are about to be inundated with uh, <laughs> all sorts of messages, I imagine, from this news audience. Uh, and I was just thinking, Dan Wakefield, uh, two or three weeks ago, uh, out of the blue, sent me a Facebook friend request, and it just brightened my week. I'm like, oh, my gosh, Dan Wakefield wants to be my Facebook friend. I am moving up in the world. All right. You are indeed <laughs> moving up, Rob. That is awesome. That's, that's wow. Practically Kurt Vonnegut honors right there if you want to be yeah. Dan Wakefield's friend. Like <laughs> I'm impressed. I know that the Speed City, uh, Speed, City, Speed City Sisters of Crime has an amazing critique group. Uh, and uh, Janet, if you want to tell us a little bit about the uh, critique group, because I know that that has some interesting ways that that works that anyone can kind of come along almost at any time. Actually, I, I, haven't part, I haven't participated in that critique group because when I've been sitting at a desk all day, it starts like at 9 o'clock and I don't get up from a chair until like 1 o'clock and it's too long sitting. So I wasn't participating in that particular critique group. Maybe one of the other ones can talk more about it. Like I said, Tony, if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's Lily. Lily should be the one that should Lily talk should about be the it. One, Lily, you're the one. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Okay, the critique group, <clears throat> there's no special um, appointment of people. Those that want to participate in the critique group can. And what we do is, preferably a couple of weeks before the meeting, if you have um, a story or a chapter of something that you want uh, the group to look at, uh, you email it to um, uh, the members who is in charge of that. She sends it out to the other critique members, and then they offer their um, their opinions on it. Uh, the critiques are everything from um, grammar critiques uh, to content critiques. Uh, they um, The group is good at spotting uh, holes in your plots, um, and so the group meets. Well, I'm not sure how we're doing it now, but we were meeting uh, before the uh, scheduled Sisters in Crime meeting, the, and the critique group would discuss the stories that have been submitted. So that's the way we were doing it. Uh, since the pandemic, um, we I know I've sent out a couple of things uh, to the group, and, and they email their responses back and their corrections. But um, the, the group is always careful to give... Um, uh, what I'm trying to say. Uh, constructive. Thank you. <laughs> constructive well, criticism. And um, and if you don't like something, uh, you, people have said what they don't like. Uh, 
and you can take that information and build your stories on it. And I, I really appreciate the group. I, I wrote a story, a, a short story, about um, a gentleman who uh, had a, a, an addiction. And someone very um, correctly pointed out, before I write about something like that, I should know a little more about it. And, and things like that that are, are helpful. So it's a really great group. So you immediately went out and became addicted, and then you were <laughs> ready to write it. I, I took another route. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm already addicted to chocolate, but that wasn't it. <laughs> That's problems enough. There's, there's yeah. no reason to add to it. <laughs> I've got a, a friend, I won't say his name, but um, he is meticulous in doing ridiculous, met, almost method actor research for his writing. Like he uh, wrote about a scene in which somebody got uh, hit in the head in a specific uh, town in a specific location. So he went to that location with a vial of um, animal blood and put it on the street to see which way it would uh, uh, it would flow. So that when he wrote about the blood from this head wound flowing, he would make sure that the reader would know that it was definitely in the right direction. Uh, he's written about cannibals, and I'm, I'm convinced that he has at some oh. point part of a person because there's there's no way he would miss that opportunity. <laughs> Me, I'm happy with a, a, a Wikipedia page, maybe a secondary reference. That That's fine. I'm good. 